Hey guys, and today I'll be showing you how to make 3D animation within Lens Studio. So first thing you want to do is a uh, file, new project template, really doesn't matter, just do animated object, just because that's what we're doing. So this is an animated 3D model, uh, kind of, I don't know, we're not doing a 3D model, we're just doing um, 2D animation, because 3D animation is really complex. So, this panda, lots, lots, lots of stuff, all the frames. We're just going to delete the panda and delete here. And so now, you want your 3D animation. And so the problem is uh, that you want a GIF file, but you don't want a GIF file. You need the individual frames. So you need to go to a website like uh, this one that I'm coming right here. This one is just the first search, easygif.com. Uh, choose your file. Um, you upload your file, or you could even paste the link, and it will um, convert it. You can see what I'm going to do is this. Uh, JPEG. I forget which one works. It should just work. Then you download it. You open the folder, and you right-click the folder and extract here. This requires... Um, WinRAR or 7-zip to, to extract it into the individual files, and so you see each. I'm just going through the files by clicking the right button, but um, it does individual files for each frame. Then you want to go into Resources and Add New, Texture, and Meet from Files. Then you'll go into the folder, which I just called Folder, which is on my j j desktop. Desktop. And then a folder, which I'm probably like failing to find. I can just do it this way. And then I'm gonna click this, hold shift, click on the last one. Last one. And see, it'll accept all these types of files JPEG, PNG, and all that. Uh, I did JPEG because it takes less space and you don't want to go over the file limit. And so then it'll come up with every image. Um, it'll be put in the order it appears to so make sure they're all in the right order. Um, this should all be pretty good. And then click OK. And you have your animation, which is down here. And you want to make sure it's on always play. And um, that's a bit fast, so. Oh, duration. Four seconds. Uh, two seconds. That was three. Two. Mm, two and five. You know, like, see what if I, I want to see what happens if I reverse it. Oh, it looks weird. It's not. What about ping pong? We're just going to go in a circle. Um, those are different options. So you can play in reverse or you can have it go to the end. And then have it go to the beginning from the end. Oh, this was the amount of frames it actually is. So then on the left, add new sprite. Um, where's the sprite? The fuck? Wait, control Z. Add new sprite. There it is. Um, then under the uh, base text right here. You can click animation or just drag it from this left area, either or. And then scale, we'll do 30 by 30 for now. Uh, and then it means we have to go 15 out. So 25 up, that's fine. Now it's floating. And so here it doesn't show that well, but over here you can see that um, it showed well. But as you see, I'm moving around that plate, but nothing's happening. You gotta make sure to move the sprite object into the world controller and then I can you can move it around and stuff you can't zoom in on this preview but that's fine now it's a little bit bigger so let's make it a 40 by 40 scale wise and then do we want to float 25 like that I think that looks pretty good and so now you can move it around here and it will um be like that and you have this gif that can just be around but it doesn't have a back, 
does have a front. So if you wanted, you know, a nice GIF, there you go. Uh, um, so that is how you do that. Uh, oh, and then you gotta do project information. It's see, so you can't go over four megabytes. So doing PNG, depending on how long your animation can make it go over the four megabytes, and that's why I did JPEG. Um, we'll call it art, animated art. Choose an icon. It has to be a square image, and so I don't have a square image ready, so I'll just do that now. Uh, is the first frame good? Yeah. So if I'm just gonna open my first frame with paint on it. It should come up on the screen in a second. There's the stuff for it, and then there we go. So now I'm just gonna do um, copy the image I want, which is probably his face. A little bit more than that. There we go. That's good. And now, um, image camera size. Oh, what's the minimum? It's 320. So I'll just do that. 320 by um, 320 pixels, and then I can paste his head here and move it to the correct size. There we go. Oh, that's wrong. That's pretty good. I want to make sure it's... Yep, there we go. That's good there. I'm going to file save as. We're going to save to the folder and uh, head. Save. Okay. We did that save as um, save JPEG. I don't know. I might be need to... Ooh, no. Should be fine. Uh, choose icon. Go into that folder. Oh, it needs to be PNG. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. So I'll open. Okay. So file, save as. Right here, go to PNG. Save it. Okay. And I close that, and there it is. See, so, you now I got the head animated art. Hint, none, because it's not. There's stuff to do, like tap on it, depending on if you're making a tap one. Click apply and submit lens. It's going to have you sign into your Snapchat. It's got to load, though. Oh, is it already signed in? It must be. Because I can just hit submit. And that should be, if it loads, <laughs> there it goes. It should be uh, submitted. And if you want to see my other ones, <laughs> My brown. This this had an insane amount. This had more than my Harambe, uh, scan wise. It had, like, it had over eleven. Like this three was an eleven. So that was a lot. Let's see how much this has. You could look at them and scan them. This one doesn't arc anymore, or this one, but some nice ranch does, or my skeleton disc, or my Squidward dancing, which was a GIF I made. So this is an review. There's. It should go through completely fine, and when it's done, I'll put the link in the description below for anyone who wants to scan it and play around with it. So, that is it for this episode. Not this episode. What am I saying? That's how you animate, put an an a GIF inside uh, Snap Lens. I will see you guys in the next video that I make.